Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're your podcast. Great job. Hey, Wildcats. Today I'm going to a construction field trip, so make sure to stay tuned to see how it went. Hey, Novide. We have an exciting announcement about Jeremy's Club. Their next meeting will take place on Thursday, April 27, after school in room 223. During the meeting, they will be discussing the upcoming German elections and accepting officer applications for the club. Come by and get a chance to meet fellow Germans enthusiasts and share your interest in German language and culture. Hey Novi, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up and we want to hear all about who means the most to you. What teacher has helped you through a tough time? Who has had the biggest impact on you? Who's been the funniest? Just let us know who has helped you out. If you're interested, fill out this QR code. You can submit a short video talking about your favorite teacher. And if you're not comfortable on camera, feel free to simply leave a story. Can't wait to hear from you, Novi. See you next week. Early this year, we did a story on the project. We checked in to see how it was going. Okay, so I'm Stella Camerlengo, and I am the founder of The Promject, which is a nonprofit prom dress clothing drive uh, throughout Metro Detroit, and I basically organize it. It stemmed from The Incubator, which is a class dedicated to um, social impact through like student-led entrepreneurship. And since I was last interviewed, I somehow made it on the cover of the Novi Note, which was crazy, but it did allow me to attain so many more dresses. So many people just reached out to me and was like, had so many dresses that they donated. And I went from 20 to like, I haven't counted, but like 60 to 80, something like that. So I have a bunch. My website is live and functioning. And on there, you can just click on a dress that you want. And then there should be a checkout process where you kind of um, fill out a Google form on which dress you want and then we can organize a way to get it to you. But if you need one and you cannot afford it, it's, feel free to have it. Feel free to take a look at it even if you don't want a dress. Um, maybe you'll find something you like. Yeah. Hey Novi, it's Brooke and Sherry. Your girls soccer team took an unfortunate loss last week against Brighton, but they won against Plymouth on Thursday 1-0. Great job, girls. On Monday, our baseball team beat Salem 2-1 to for the third win in a row. They had great pitching from Brendan Bennett and Brett Reed. They'll play them again at home today. What's up, Novi? Last Saturday, there was the Bella Wadger Classic Co-Ed Relays. For track, overall, the girls got second and the boys got sixth in the relays. For the field events, Timothy Reeves the second got second in the boys' long jump, and Isabel Armstrong got second in the girls' long jump. Timothy Reeves also PR, so congratulations to them. The boys lacrosse team lost to Livonia and Gross Point South, but they look to bounce back today against Canton at Canton. What's up, Novi? Girls Lacrosse won on Friday against Graham Blake. Unfortunately, they took a loss against Slavonia on Monday, but they're hoping to make a comeback against Canton today. How's it going, everyone? This is your weekly boys varsity golf update. So this past Monday, the team placed second out of 24 teams at the Hazen Transfer Tournament at Red Run Golf Club. They shot a combined score of 311. Nice job, guys. And this is your girls tennis update. During the past week, both Varsity and JVs played and won against Salem and Heartland. Great job, girls. And the match that was supposed to happen yesterday got rescheduled because of weather to May 3rd. Eight. Only eight more episodes, nobody. Eight.